So today let's do base 5 division. First we are going to do the base 5 division with the pieces and later on we are going to move on to long division. And the way that we are we are doing the base 5 division with the, the pieces is that we are going to separate the division into two situations. One is that we are dividing the dividend by a single digit divisor and the other one will be dividing by a multi-digit divisor. Yeah, so let's take a look at this example. This is this is two four base five divided by two base five. And so if you look at the divisor first, that's a single digit divisor. And the way that we handle this situation is that we're going to form two groups. That means you are going to separate two longs four units into two groups. And you try to do it evenly. So let me just put down a note here in this divisor tells you how many groups that you're going to form, right? So that's the number of groups that you are going to form. And actually we can start doing that already. So let's make two groups. So that's one group. We are going to put pieces inside the, the group. Yeah, so let's do that here. Okay, so we have two groups. Now we also need to put down the pieces for the uh, the dividend. So we have two longs and four units. And so let's do that. Let me put down the pieces. So we have four longs. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. And then, well, actually we just only want two longs, right? So yeah, that's, that's a mistake. So we, now we have two longs and then we want four units. Now let me put down four units. Okay. So we are ready to do the division. And as I said, we are trying to put the two longs and four units in the two groups evenly. So let's try to do that as if it's possible. Sometimes it's not possible, then in that case, you are going to get a remainder, but that's fine. So let's don't worry about that for now. And so we are going to put the longs first. So let's put down this long here, right? And then you are going to move it in, right, into this group. And so that's that. But now if you put one long in a group, then you also need to put another long into the other group because we need to make sure that we do it evenly, right? So, so we need to put the long into the other group. Now, um, we're done with the longs, right? We have no more longs. And so this time we are going to deal with the units. And you probably already see what the answer is already inside each group because uh, we have four units and then we have two groups. So each group will have what? We'll have two units, but let's just do the moving anyway. So we have one unit goes here and then one unit goes here and then one unit goes this side and then the other unit goes the other, this side. This is just like distributing candies to your, to your kids, right? Yeah, so you need to make it fair. And so each group will have the same amount of pieces and now you have no more pieces left. And then see what's going on here. Um, the answer, if you're to write down the answer, the answer is actually easy to write down. The answer would actually just be the number of pieces that you have in a group. And so you can already tell what that is, right? We have one long two units. So the answer is one, two, base five. And so we're done with this example. Next time I'm going to do an example with a remainder. Yeah, thank you for watching.